Good morning. It's Monday morning. It's much better than a normal Monday morning because we're not at work. We're on holiday. Claire, can I just stop you there? Can oh. I have my broom handle, please? Broom handle? Yes, my broom handle. David, I'm trying to film. You know, I've been sweeping out the back of the van, didn't I? Weirdo. Thank you. So, yeah, so today we are going to go and see Minnick Theatre and then we're going to pop down to Land's End. Apparently, it's not far away from Minnick Theatre, so the sun is shining. Let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> It does look like it's going to be nice. Um, so yeah, we're quite excited about today. Oh, and we've got a task for today. We've got a task apparently. <coughs> What's the task? It's a task for today is after we go to Miniac Theatre, we're going to go to Land's End, which is where I want to go because the last time I went there it was 10 o'clock at night in the pitch black. Um, but the task is to get a tea towel from Land's End. Yes, yeah, we need a new tea towel. Anyway, we'll catch up with you when we're on the road. Claire, yeah. what are you watching? Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, apparently. If music be the food of love, play on. Give me the excess of it, that, supplying the appetite, may sicken and may so die. Oh, it came on my ear, that sweet sound. No more. O oh, spirit of love, how quick and fresh art thou, from the moment when Lady Olivia did grasp my first can't remember the last bit of the line. <laughs> Last my first. No. Cut. <laughs> what do you think? You're not giving a stand innovation. He's not very good. He keeps forgetting his lines. Well, it was only in the dress rehearsal. It's important to note it is still a working theatre. You can, however, go in there during the daytime. You see, there are quite a few dogs here, actually. It's not just ours. But, yes, yeah, stage there. And then behind... The sea. How's that for a backdrop? I've got to be honest with you. I think this is the closest I'll ever get to the Royal Box. I do think for me though, my tour may have ended because uh, there's a dog down there who's whining like crazy and wants her dad back. So when I went in the uh, Royal Box, I thought I was punching, um, but it turns out they let anyone in the Royal Box these days. Even dogs. Hello. Hello. So, I've been on a tour of the Minak Theatre. Claire sat here with the dogs and watched the entertainment, didn't you? How'd you find it? Some of it was a bit hit and miss, actually. Yeah, the bloke that went on the stage before me was terrible, but I was all right, wasn't I? <laughs> right. Anyway, we're going to love you, Neva, and I think we're going to head to Land's End now. Yeah. If we've got enough fuel. We've only got 50 miles left of fuel. We need to get to Land's End and then back to Penzance. So that'd be a good cliffhanger. We should end this vlog, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Will we get fuel? Will we get fuel? Fun now. Anyway, we will see you in Land's End when we get a tea towel. So, we're at, where are we? Land's End. We're at Land's End, and uh, we just had our photo taken, didn't we? Yeah. It's quite good, actually. We pay, you have to pay for it, because they changed the sign to suit you. Paid ten ninety five, but they send you a digital version. They send you a version through the post, 
they'll take it on your phone as for well, you as yeah. well. Yeah, you can feel phone, um, it's nice, yeah. And they let us film it on the camera as well. So, yeah, it's a family-run business. You know, sometimes you look at these things, you think they're making a fortune. But also, um, they've got a price for the car park for a motorhome and a price for a car. And they let us in for the car price because they said, to be fair, they said you're only on a short wheelbase. So, again, they could have made more money out mm. of us, but they didn't. So, yeah. And some places will take advantage of that, that we're in a camper van. Ex exactly. Yeah. yeah. Really impressed, actually. It's a nice sunny day, blue sky. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with Land's End. Anyway, let's go and find a tea towel. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to know But you don't see what you have in front of you So Claire, your mission was to get some tea towels. Were you successful? Yes. I got two. You got two. So we have got the obligatory Land's End sign. And we got one of Cornwall. You don't normally get tea towels that big. Has anyone got a bigger tea towel than that? Comment down below. Yeah, very good. Right, where are we off to now? Either Penzance or St Michael's Mount. Yeah. I think Penzance comes first, doesn't it? Penzance has to come first because we've just about got enough petrol to get to Tesco petrol station in Penzance. Okay, better go and get some petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we made it. We didn't run out of fuel. But yeah, we'll take you around and we'll, see you, we'll show you what Penzance is like. I think the girls are going to have a little paddle down yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's nice, uh, nice clean water for them to have a little paddle. It's a bit warm today. Child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. Mm -hmm. I know you tried so hard. We've arrived at St Michael's Mount uh, and this is where we're going to go for a walk now but also we're going to have our dinner here. What a place to have a view. Look at where we're parked up. Dinner with a view, that's what we like. That is dinner with a view. And we've only had to pay for an hour's parking because it's free after six. Although we've got to be out of the car park by 11 because camper vans and motorhomes are not allowed in this car park past 11 o'clock. Also, if you download the Just Park app, if you can't get phone signal here, it's very difficult. I've had to get onto our Wi-Fi and it's took ages to download. So it is a bit of a pain in the bum. But yeah, we're here. We're going to go for a walk. Then we'll have dinner. So we have had a result. Dogs are allowed on this beach um, outside of the 1st of July and 31st of August, which we are, and also outside of the hours of 10 till 6, which again we are. So I'm going to go and join the girls on the beach. This place is stunning. So on one side, you've got all this beautiful greenery. Stunning. And on the other side, you've got that. So lovely. And you've even got David, look. So lovely. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking the mickey at me? No. <laughs> You're taking the mickey at me? <laughs> Hello, so we're back at the van. We're having our dinner. 
Which yeah. is much healthier than normal, isn't it, Claire? It's a bit healthier, yeah. Yeah. I've done a chicken goujon Caesar salad. But the beauty is, come on, when do you ever get that view for your dinner? St Michael's Mount. Mm. Anyway, we're going to love you and leave you. We're going to tuck in. Um, and then what else are we doing? Oh, it's not the end of our Devon and Cornwall trip. So we've got lots more planned on our list. So stay tuned. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Is there a place with sun all year round? And pina coladas With pretty faces And sand on the ground I want to stop This ongoing train Before I lose my mind And go insane I don't want to sleep Every night I want to light a spark In the dark I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Let's leave this place For another place oh. Maybe all we need is different God, what happened? Uh, I don't know why. I'm guessing the sea brings it in. What is it? it smells like poo. What? I've got to go and wash my boots. I don't know if it's just mouldy seaweed or what. <laughs> ah. It smells like manure. Yuck. So for those of you that watch our channel frequently, you'll know that Claire is scared of heights. Um, I think she's just beat that fear today. Now if you look on the top of that rock, you'll see someone waving back at you. Uh, yeah, that's Claire. Things have changed. <laughs> look at that. Don't try this at home, kids. Go next door instead. Wowza. What a woman. What a machine. Hello, so we're back in the van. Oh, as you saw, I'm sure, from our footage, oh, the lizard is an absolute delight. Absolutely loved it. The coastal walk was stunning. It's just stunning. 
anyway so we've got some good footage for you hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed coming with us uh, we're now on our way to Falmouth via uh, Tesco's uh, to pick up some dinner and some essentials I think we need some wine <laughs> so yeah we'll catch up with you at Falmouth Lily what are you waiting for what, why are you sitting at the table you've already been fed do you think you're getting more do you think you're getting more dinner Anyway, David has done it again. He's found us a view to have our evening meal. We are at Fal... Oh, I keep saying it wrong. What is it, David? Falmouth. Falmouth. It's not foul mouth, <laughs> like potty mouth. <laughs> David keeps taking the mickey at me because I keep saying it wrong. But we're at Falmouth Beach, a swan pool beach to be more specific. And apart from these two cars that have parked there, we do have a lovely view of the sea. David is cooking our dinner. Yeah. What are you cooking us, David? So tonight we've got pizza calzone, otherwise known as 259p pizzas on top of each other in the Ridge Monkey. Yeah. Cutting off. Yep. Um, birds eye potato waffles, the world foodie versatile. <laughs> birds eye potato waffles. And we've got a garlic <coughs> bread, which I think is still in the fridge. Got a garlic bread. Lovely. So we're going to have that, and then we're going to have a little stroll around. Falmouth. Falmouth, yeah. yeah. I've done it right now, Falmouth. Oh, yeah, similarly to the beach where we were at St Michael's Mount yesterday, if you come before the 1st of July or after the 31st of August, or outside of 10 till 6, dogs can go on the beach. And as you can see, one in the sea there, one running backwards and forwards there. So, yeah, we're going to take the girls on the beach and then we're going to go up the cliff top wall. I made an old man. Story. He took out an open and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear. Like smoke, and I thought I'd just seen a ghost. Then I looked down at what he wrote. So, yeah, we're heading to New Quay, and uh, we'll pick you up there. The sea is blue, the sand looks nice, and um, that house is amazing. Imagine having to go across that bridge to get to your house. How quirky is that? Things have took a turn for the better. I just spoke to the lifeguards up there and I said, don't suppose dogs are allowed on the beach, are they? Because there's no sign. And they said, yeah, absolutely. This is, people have been bringing dogs on the beach for years. I said, there's some down there already. So yeah, look at that beach. You said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. And now, Got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answers, and you'll find what you've got. Welcome back to the channel. So last week you saw us in Cornwall. We are now in lovely Devon. We are at a campsite called Umberlay. We are looking forward to our Devon trip. So we've got a few things planned, but obviously we just get set up on site now. So we're probably going to pick you up in the morning. Good morning. So we've had a lovely night's sleep so far. Really impressed with the campsite. The dog walk alone is insane. The views from the dog walk. And you can walk literally right around the nature reserve, around there's a fishing lake, the woodland area, really, really nice. Yeah, we had a good night's sleep, it was quiet enough. So we are now on our way to Linton and Linmouth. 
So Linton and Lynmouth are two small towns joined by a funicular railway. Linton's at the top and Lynmouth is at the bottom. Lynmouth Linton is 500 feet above. The way to remember the difference is the mouth of the river is obviously at the bottom and that's Lynmouth. Mouth. I've never been so I'm looking forward to it hopefully it'll be another lovely day and we are going to show you hopefully some lovely views from the top of the railway Okay, so we were parked at the top at Linton and we're just about to grab the uh, funicular railway on the way down to Lynmouth. Come on, let's go. And that's the pulley. So one pulls the other one up. You see this one coming up what will happen is it will stop by the water pipe and then as it stops at the water pipe that water pipe will put water into the bucket at the bottom weighing it down and making it ready for its return journey just see the pipe lining up there now and it will start pumping water in a minute And here is what you find at the bottom. And this is where the mouth of the river joins the sea. So we are currently standing right in the mouth of the river. You can see behind us, you've got the sea. I say standing, I'm kind of on a rock and it's not very deep here. <laughs> But yeah, it's lovely down here. The morning sun is rising, spreading its light on the bed, shining all that same old spot that's been empty for some time. It's been a while since she left us, and somehow I'm so. <laughs> we're just inside the Glen Lynn Gorge we're going to go and have a wander up and see what it looks like I love moving water so we are going to go in there despite the fact that they don't take contactless payment so I had to go to the shop and I had to get cash back on a bottle of cherry brandy to make Claire happy um, and then yeah we're going to go in there now because we've got the cash See you in a bit, we'll show you what we find. So you might wonder what vandal is shooting that water across the gorge. There she is, it's Tessie. Oh no it's not, it's Claire. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> so you see down there, I don't know how well it'll come out on the camera, you've got your rainbow. And then just up there through the trees, level with this camera, that is where the flood level was in 1952. Amazing height. This whole gorge was completely flooded and so was the whole of Lynmouth. Is it this way Tessie? Come on then. It's quite pretty. Do you like it Tessie?
Okay, so we're way above the waterfall now. And we're still climbing. Who said money don't grow on trees? <laughs> Lies. Look at that. Look at some of them have been there years. Look, they're all split and stuff. I reckon if you add them all up, there's at least £4.50 there. <laughs> so we got all the way to the top and there was a stone bench to sit on and view out. Nothing spectacular, but however, we have seen some lovely waterfalls, so I do think it was worth it. It is very pretty and it's a lovely little walk, winding walk. Okay. Although we're both tired now, <laughs> we need a drink. The dogs have got a drink, but we didn't bring a drink for ourselves, apart from the cherry brandy that David bought, but probably not advisable to drink just that. So we're going to make our way back down now. So the girls are queuing. And what are they queuing for? They're queuing to go back up the mountain. Well, the first one to go on the next one, you see what he's going to do? He's going to pump water out of the bottom to make this one light enough for the other one to pull it up the cliffs. And the other one will come down, and as it comes down, the pulley will be pulling this one up. Just look how steep it is. And this was built in Victorian times. You can hear the water flowing out of it now. So you'll hear once the water's out, that's when it's gonna start moving. There we go, and they're off. Are you ready to go up the cliff? Yes. Lily, you ready to go up the cliffs? Claire, are you ready to go up the cliff? I'm ready. Tessie's taking it all in her stride. It's not like her. Lily always takes things in her stride. After all the excitement of Linton and Linmouth this morning, we decided to come somewhere else for sort of late afternoon, early evening. Where are we, Claire? We are at sunny Ilfracombe Harbour. We're at sunny Ilfracombe Harbour. This takes me back to my childhood. So we're going to go for a little wander, tire the girls out, make ourselves You're hungry. Tired, bless <laughs> yeah, we're going to build up our appetite and then we're going to have some fish and chips. Although I don't like fish, so yeah. chip shop chips. Chips by the sea. Exactly. I'll probably have a chicken burger. I quite fancy a chicken burger. Oh, I just bashed your hat then. <laughs> right, we'll go for a walk. We'll show you the sights. Come along with us as always. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Honestly I'm open wide I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom Seriously, this YouTube lot makes me so nervous I've got David hanging off the edge of bloody ruins You wanna blame Andy from Extreme for that? Yes, but you're no Andy from Extreme, David <laughs> Just climb the world's tallest hill. Let's see if it was worth it. Let our viewers decide if it was worth it. We did the work so you don't have to. Okay. 
So, it was only a short stop in Devon, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, but I think we've had a wicked time, haven't we? Yeah, we've only scraped the surface. Of the, but, yeah, what we've seen, we've been amazed by. It's been yeah. lovely. Cornwall or Devon, which you prefer? For this trip, it's Cornwall because we covered so much and yeah. we saw so much. We've obviously only been to a few places in Devon, but obviously we I know Devon's beautiful and yeah. it's it, there's so many big views and stunning places to see. So for this trip, it's Cornwall, but yeah. when we do Devon properly at some point, it, it might, change. might change. I don't know, but I mean, Devon's special to me yeah. because I went there a lot as a child. Um, but Cornwall's also lovely. So I've been there a, a few places in Cornwall before, and yeah. I still love it. It's just simply fun. Well, I love really, really. I love the hills and the countryside of Devon, but I have to say the beaches in uh, Cornwall mm. are fantastic. So thank you for watching. Yeah, we well. hope you've enjoyed it because mm. we've just had a blast, haven't we? We've yeah, yeah, really we have. enjoyed it. It's been lovely. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon.